Good morning. A little glimpse into the lifestyles of the rich and famous. Not. I am in bed recovering from minor, very minor, if it didn't feel minor, minor procedure yesterday that was not expected. I have been in so much pain that yesterday I had decided I was just going to go to the ER where they could give me um, meds that had a strength that would work. And as I was um, lying around preparing myself mentally for that, I guess, um, and trying to rest since I didn't sleep during the night, a phone call came from my, uh, from the pain what do they call it? Pain clinic. And um, they asked me to come in so the doctor could see me. I had previously told them, no, I wasn't coming back because it's an hour drive and then you end up sitting in uncomfortable waiting room chairs and blah, blah, blah. Okay, but I agreed to go. And um, so luckily Marcus was off, so he drove. We did wait um, so we drove an hour, we waited two hours, and after talking to the doctor, he decided it was time to do an urgent um, injection in my lower spine. And um, I've had this procedure done before, but it was always under general anesthesia. So I woke up not knowing any better, and I've never had any results from it that were good. So um, I was a little hesitant for a couple of reasons. I haven't had good luck with it. And also um, we weren't going under general anesthesia. So we did that procedure and then um, Marcus is not a fan of needles. He said he would stay in the room for moral support. Uh, which the doctor was fine with, um, and the doctor was doing an x-ray procedure so he could guide what he needed to guide. And um, as soon as he pulled out the needle, Marcus said, I'm out of here. <laughs> so he bailed um, to the hallway where he said he sat with his fingers in his ears because he didn't want to hear anything, but he could hear me screaming um, because it was excruciatingly painful. I wouldn't recommend it to anybody unless you have reached so much pain in your normal life that you're willing to do about anything. So I was willing. Um, I didn't really see too many favorable results, but I'm feeling a little better today. And I also have um, a, a different round of meds. He has me on morphine and a couple of other things. So I think in combination, um, I'm still in pain, but I feel like the, the pain level is, has decreased. So um, anyway, I promised myself that I would just be still today because a lot of times um, when I start to feel a little bit better, I feel the need to be productive. And so I you know, put dishes away or make lunch or, you know, just do something for myself to, or the house or to take care of the family or whatever. But I promised myself yesterday after getting home from that procedure, I thought, you know what, if I went through that much pain, I need to make sure that I'm doing my part to help it work. So anyway, this is this is my life for today. I'm trying to be as positive about it as I can because I'm hoping that it will pay off. But as you can see, I'm still in bed, but I have my trusty companion over here. Where is she? Emma? Emma, are you awake? There she is. There she is. My trusty companion. She's normally right by my side. Okay, and I have crosswords, and I have the television, and I'm keeping the lights real low, just so I will kind of remain in kind of a muted state and not get 
overly um, optimistic about my ability to do things because there are things I want done and they're I'm telling myself they're just gonna wait they're gonna wait so anyway I just wanted to send um, a little briefing because I know that yesterday's post was kind of a downer and probably um, I sound very ungrateful I don't know but I'm not I'm very I know that I'm blessed especially after you hang out in a pain clinic for two hours and you see others and their situations it really um, I think touches your heart and shows you um, that other people can have it worse not that I would wish this on anybody because this whole situation is bad and it's taking way longer than I want it to. But I want everybody to know that if you've texted me or replied or called or brought food by, um, just everything that you guys have done, I doesn't go unnoticed. Um, so thank you. I appreciate when people stop by, even if it's unexpectedly and I have to put on a bra. I'll do that for you. For my good friends, I'll wear a bra. Actually, no, it's the opposite. I won't. <laughs> but anyway, um, we're getting by. I'm getting by and I still have the support of so many people. So many, so much love has come this way and I really appreciate it. So hopefully uh the pain will stay at a um bearable level until um surgery on monday and then hopefully the recovery will go better and this will be something in the past um whatever it's in god's hands it's not in my hands but um Today I have a good attitude and I'm hopeful. So, thank you. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Love y'all. Bye. Oh, did I just say y'all? Love you all. Bye.